Hi everybody, so we're going to explain you a bit the working of the new My Flight Plus app. So you see on the right the new app and the receiver. The first thing we're going to do is to link our receiver to the app. So we're going to turn on the receiver. There the menu is in Spanish, but it's the same place as in, in English too. You can change the language afterwards. So you press on the top left corner of the menu you go on the third line when it says Configurar Receptor, Configure it Receiver. And then you press the orange uh, box which says Search for New Devices. And then you click on it and you will see it will find immediately the receiver. And once you have found the receiver, well, you press on Guardar, which is Save. Once the receiver is saved, well, you receive an alert that the GSM is not available, but that's because you didn't put your login. That is for the people who are having transmitters with SIM card. If you have no SIM card in your transmitters, you don't need to put the login. So we go back on the menu. You go on the, the settings fourth line. You go to user, the first line, usuario, and there you put your login. And then you can put the name of the user, that's when you want to share the flights and uh, the name of the flights. And you always have to press save in the lower part of it. Okay, so that's quite easy. And that's also where uh, later on you will have the chance to change your settings of the languages. So you can change the settings of the languages in the lower part there, a bit lower under the number of the willow. A bit lower if you scroll down you will see uh, the different options that you have uh, once you got you made your settings about the language and so on well we're going to show you how the app works um, so you put your transmitter obviously in training mode that's to show you how it works once you put your logging which is in the top you will see in the lower part all the transmitters that are connected and related to your logging if it appears with this little sim card symbol it will mean that there is a GSM position available also. Once the transmitter is connected in real-time GPS, uh, you will just have to press the transmitter and then you can press the compass to change the screens. Uh, just to, you have four different options. You press a compass, you can have it on the left, on the right, on the bottom, on the maximum and so on. Okay, and you can zoom in, zoom out, that's depending on the settings. Uh, that you will decide which can be done at with the top right uh, little flag that you have so you see so those are the different settings then when you press on that one you can hey, command your receiver you press on the other side you can lock it you can access to different modes uh, with the voice control the beeps uh, you can lock the screen you can have your, your screen turning like if you want to follow your, your bird, you can zoom in and you can choose the zoom levels if you go on the top right corner of the of the app. Uh, you see also in the top left corner, sorry. That's the automatic zoom. Okay, you see it's zooming back. So that's something you can choose there on the top right corner. Just briefly press on it. You can press it on zero, press and hold. Sorry, press and hold the, the height and then to put it on zero. On the top right, you can you have your different level, uh, levels of zoom. You can zoom three, two, one, whatever you want. You can have the automatic zoom with the bird in the center. Um, you can decide Aquí, not to have the zoom just to, pájaro, to close it down and by pressing the symbol of the bird you will have a bird or a man or a cross which is deactivating like this the zoom so you can you can just do it manually in that case it's not an automatic zoom anymore okay in the other parts you see then the map allows it it allows you to the map to move Sorry for this translation, it's a bit hectic. So, you get another option, which is the automatic rotation of the map. Yes, which will show, rotate it in the right direction. 
when you want to, when you're searching the bird, the map will, will rotate automatically in the right direction. You also notice in the top left corner, you get the battery level of the, of the transmitter, the battery level in the right corner from the receiver. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, you got to have the record, you press microsensor and then you have this record button and you just press it. Even if you close the app and you forget, you close the app and you forget to record it, you still have the option when you open the app again to record it again. That will be available. So just press it and then you can record, you can add a picture, you can take a picture with it and just save it as a flight, as a recorded flight. Okay. Uh, another interesting thing that the app offers you is to command the receiver. This is a little menu on the right part uh, next to the speed and so on. Well, we're going first to the recorded flights. You can see the recorded flights here. Um, and you just press on it, you can share them, you can simulate it, you can, uh, well, replay it. Everything like in the previous app, but like more intuitive that's the very the speed of the replay you can obviously stop the replay if you want pause it okay you see the graphs it's showing how to center it and to pause it and then well you can make the replay as you wish and start it again and see follow the flight of your replay of the birds and you will still have the same functions as the normal app when the app was working by pressing the screen. So we're going back to live mode. An interesting uh, feature, for example, is a lot of, you see that's the, the real-time GPS. You can check also the position by telephone if there is a SIM card showing. And you can also command the receiver on this menu on the top. Well, this is to zero the values, the height. This one is uh, just to share your flights in public, so you can share your flights. This is a link to go open Google Maps and show you where to go. And now we're going to the receiver, which is really interesting in a second. Uh, on the top right, well, this is showing the battery level of the receiver and the transmitter. If you press it, you will see that we can manipulate there. We can manipulate the receiver completely and do all the manipulation of the receivers uh, on the screen of the phone. That's very interesting when, uh, for example, the screen of the receiver eventually is broken. So that's uh, just, well, one of the basics of the app. We will have some more tutorials, but at least uh, now we can get started. So you can also press, if you press again the transmitter, you can activate the multiplied. So to activate multiple transmitters at the same time. And yes, well, have a play with it. You will see it's a very nice app and a very interesting app. Just contact me if you have some questions. Thank you. Cheers.